This next video is going to cover this particular area here on the right hand side of Nextcast. Uh, a lot of you have been asking exactly how to use this and I'll quickly show you. So there are two different elements to this um, side of Nextcast. First is these empty buttons. And basically what that is, is you can drag and drop uh, sample files, MP3 or WAV files, um, to become like a button box sampling option. So I'm just going to go here and just grab something and drag it onto one of the buttons. Uh, so you can see how that works. So basically you can uh, drag any MP3 file or uh, sample file, like a WAV file, from anywhere on your computer onto one of these buttons. And once it's assigned, you'll notice it'll have the name and then you'll also see the F7. So that means that uh, function key 7 on your keyboard uh, will activate this button. So there you go. And then when you press it again, it'll fade out. Now, the important part of this uh, section here is when I have it on preview, that means this sample here is not going over the air. So it's just a way for you to check the sample and make sure that uh, it is what you want. Now, when you click it on live, and then press it, then the sample um, will go over the air. So anytime you press the sample over the air, <laughs> so when you press the live there, again, it sends it through the stream or out through the uh, encoder to your Shoutcast or Live 365 or Icecast server. The last part of it here is you can also drag and drop this button's audio over to one of the players. So if I select drag to player, I can now drag this file to one of the players. In addition, um, <clears throat> there's also this little section here for the voice track. So what you can do is I can record a voice track, which uh, testing one, two voice track, okay? And it will allow me to save it into the voice track folder. I'm not gonna do that now. But now I have my voice track whenever I press this little green voice track, it's going to play what I just recorded. So I can preview. Voice track. Okay. So this is a way for you to kind of, let's say you're doing a live show, but you want to make sure all your voice transitions are, are done properly. You can record right before the song transition, and then you can select drag to player and drag it to the next player. And then the voice track will become your next play, the, the next track played. Also, whenever you drag and drop a song like that, um, the list will not get interrupted. It will just stop, wait for the voice track to finish, and then continue on with the list. Again, this can be done also either in preview mode, where you just hear the voice track, or if you select live, it will actually play the voice track over the encoder. So that's a simple overview of how these buttons on the right work. They're sample buttons also what we call live voice tracking, where you pre-record your transitions right before the song, and then you can either drag and drop it, or you can uh, play it live at will, so you can uh, pre-do your voice track transitions live. Thanks for watching this video. If there's any other topics you would like covered, please email me and uh, go to my website, and don't forget to like us on Facebook. Look for Nextcast Internet Radio Automation. Thanks.